a secret at all. It's pretty basic locking and tackling. You know, first and foremost, we listen and listen hard. You know, we're always out with our customers, with our partners, what's working, what's not working, what can we do more of, what can we do better, what can we do different. But I think the other thing, uh, you know, my mantra is the only constant is change. Now, not change for change's sake, but let's continue to evolve, let's continue to transform, listen to our customers, and let's see what we can do to continuously improve. Now, I'll give you a good example of that. Uh, you know, we have uh, grown a services business, grown a services capability. Uh, it's doing extremely well. But one of the things that we didn't do very well was listen to the partner side of this, right? We have a lot of great partners that are delivering EMC technology each and every day. They want to be able to deliver more uh, uh, advanced services, more capabilities, and we didn't really think of them enough as part of our family. And what I mean by that is there's so much more they can help us in terms of frequency and reach and depth out there. We're actually now considering partners as an extension of ours, where we're developing services, not just to enable them, but to actually have services yeah. integrate it's, into it's their It's that offering. movie we saw again. You saw about seeing the movies before. This is the multi-vendor movie. Remember, Absolutely. remember the multi-vendor craze? And we're back, right? So again, partner's hard, but also it's a, it's a multi-dimensional problem now. Can you talk about balancing the product, rapid product uh, cycles, combined with the complexity on the partnership side? Yeah. What's that, what's, how did you address that? Well, you know, again, it's just uh, constant communication. Uh, it's, it's sort of making sure, uh, you know, I, I met with a partner today, uh, and it was music to my ears. He says, you know, you're one of the very few vendor partners we work with with a stellar say-do ratio. <laughs> and he said, our say-do ratio is 100%. He says, you guys say what you mean and you do what you say. And you don't overcommit, you don't undercommit. And so it's really having that solid relationship, set the expectations, and then go do it. So talk about, uh, we we're talking about EMC culture being an East Coast company with Pat and the East the West Coast with Jeremy. It's now kind of a, not just the East Coast, West Coast, but it's, and then uh, Jeremy made the point, it's a global yes. market. So talk about the geographies out in the other geographies with the partnerships, because um, they're obviously different. You got in country, you have global, global execution. What's your, um, what's the current state of the union relative to your organization? Yeah, I'll I tell you, it's, it's interesting. We've got great partnerships in all parts of the world. Uh, the U.S. continues to sort of lead the way in many ways. But you know, we're seeing growing partnerships now in Europe and Asia. Uh, we just signed a very, very major service provider partnership with Atos. Uh, Atos is forming a separate entity called Canopy, just for cloud solutions, all based on EMC and VMware technology. They're going to deliver private cloud, hybrid cloud, uh, platform as a service, an enterprise app store, uh, a set of consulting services. And by the way, we're embedding EMC IP into their consulting offerings as just another example of how we're working to uh, collaborate. Uh, we're actually seeing our international partners embrace our strategy even faster. Yeah, my observation there, Howard, is there's a, there's a vacuum in the industry. I mean, you guys are partner friendly. Some of the big guys have vertically integrated into services and they're not competing you know, more aggressively. And you guys have struck that balance really well. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. You know, uh, as my team will tell you, uh, the phrase I always use is water will find its own level. Mm. The market will tell us what they want and need from us. Yes, we're going to have services. We have consulting and implementation and managed services and residency and service and support. But we do this to enable our partners and to enable our customers. And some customers we're going to absolutely want skin in the game and work with us. Partners, while they may be willing, are unable to deliver at scale. So they want our help and support. What are some of the traction, what are the, some of the areas that are seeing the most traction right now in the partnership and the customers on the cloud side? Obviously there's a huge uh, need for that. What are you seeing in terms of the, the uptake, in terms of where the traction is with, your, with the customer base? In terms of cl uh, applications in uh, the cloud? Application or? and also services that they're working with EMC, engaging EMC on. Oh, uh, it's, it, really it's about um, application portfolio assessment, application modernization, because everybody sort of figured out how to virtualize, consolidate, and even yeah. begin to automate a lot of the provisioning and deployment of resources in a cloud. Now it's, well how do I get my applications? And it's about legacy applications. Which one should I just move over into a container and stay? Which one should I modernize and develop into uh, some of these new frameworks and languages? And then which one should I retire and write all new? 
Uh, that's a huge area. Tom Roloff, you mentioned earlier, is spending a lot of his time working to develop that sort of application transformation, application modernization. Yeah, it's really become an imperative. Again, we just did the survey. You can see here, the almost 40% said we're aggressively modernizing our applications using new tools, frameworks, and development platforms, which a few years ago was like, yeah, we're going to put a brick wall around these applications. We're not going to virtualize our mission critical applications, and that's completely changed, and it's really forcing these new development methodologies. It really is, and I think you know, some of the early cloud wins, right, whether it's VDI or just containerization of existing applications, they've seen you know, the, the benefits we said that they would get are real. It is more cost effective, it is more agile, it is more flexible. You get uh, time to value increases, and so now the rest of the application developers are looking at that saying, I want in. And so Howard, we met when you were uh, you know, running the storage business at, uh, at Compaq. Oh, that was you, a while you've ago. Had, you've had a, a number of senior executive positions. Uh, you found your way into a, a, the perfect role for you, really, you know, and you've really driven EMC services strategy. What's your dream job? You know what, my dream job is continuing to make sure that customers get value out of everything we do. You know, I, I've never been too focused on the title. Uh, uh, on how many people are in the organization. Uh, you know, to me, it's about how to really deliver value. The thing that just gratifies me the most is when a customer says, thank you. I mean, thank, when they say, thank you for what you've helped me to do, that's a job complete. Uh, I love the people I work with. You know, you mentioned Compaq. It's great to be working with Michael Capellas again, yeah. you know, in VCE, <laughs> you know, the band's back together again in many ways. And, uh, but you know, the team, Joe and Pat and Paul and David and Jeremy, uh, we just have a phenomenal team here and it's so much fun coming to work every I mean, day. I think it's the best management team in tech. I said it earlier, all the technology companies we talk to, um, EMC probably has stacked management, uh, world class, second to none, so you guys are, I mean, we think EMC is going to be the GE of technology um, with these kinds of moves with VCE, your partnerships. I think the conversation with the SAP partnership, oh, absolutely. the stuff that you guys are doing in the field uh, is going to catapult you way beyond the IT space. So oh, great. congratulations. I feel, thank you, I feel it every day. Yeah. yeah. Um, Howard, thanks very much. Hey, for my coming pleasure. On. Great, to see, Howard, to, see you, hey, pleasure. Yeah. great to see you. Howard, thanks so much. EMC, always customer centric, always been the culture. Howard Elias is in the front lines, leading the troops uh, here at EMC. We'll be right back with our next guest, uh, EMC CFO, on next. <laughs>